So obviously, as you can see, I've started on this crazy journey. Um, what Can you give me any kind of tips on how to improve my playing? Anything that kind of really helped you in the beginning? I mean, the main thing for me was just like we talked about earlier, there's no rules. So yeah. the most important thing I found was just learn what you really want to learn. Because, you know, if you're enjoying it, you're more inclined to sit down and and practice it um and that's the trick really is the more time you spent holding the thing you know the muscle memory comes don't worry about being too fast don't worry about learning all the licks um you know rhythm playing is underrated you know uh a lot of guitar players like Hendrix and Steve Array incorporated it into their lead you know so don't be afraid to just you know focus on that as well as you know shredding but who are your favorite guitar players they're probably pretty much the same as you, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's the, the obvious ones like Hendrix. I love Stevie Ray Vaughan and like all the blues guys. Um, Joe, I think Joe's an incredible player. Um, so, yeah, the, I, I really enjoy playing the blues because I find it, which I find it a little bit easier. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which is stupid to say because it's not. I think that's, yeah. It's opinion. easier for a beginner. Like you can start off sounding okay. If you mm -hmm. try and play blues in the beginning, you know, whereas there's no point in me even trying to do an Eddie Van Halen or like that. Forget it. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. But actually, my brother was a shredder and super into like Steve Vai and Ingvar yeah. Malmsteen. Like, and maybe that was part of the attraction for me. It's like, well, I can learn pride and joy, but yeah. I'm probably not going to learn Ingvar Malmsteen in the first couple of months of. Never, exactly. So, yeah, that... um... yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I know you're. Quiet. Just enjoy it. I like that. Just enjoy it. And, and the no rules thing, um, which. Yeah. Didn't... I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's music. It's like listening to music. But some fans always get annoyed with me because they're like, what are you listening to? And I'm like, Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. And it's like, they're like, why? And I'm like, who cares? It makes me happy. I'm going to be dead a long time. You know, music's a good thing, whether whatever it is, as long as you enjoy it. You know? Yeah, you can have guilty pleasures, you know. I like a bit of Harry Styles, Watermelon High and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever that one is. I sound like an old grandma now. It's not even cool that. Is it Watermelon High? What's it called? Watermelon Sugar what, what, Watermelon Sugar. That's it, yeah. It high is in the chorus. That's what you're thinking of then. God, I'm going to so edit this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you're singing Watermelon Sugar High, so yes. you did get... 90% of it <laughs> it's like okay stop trying to be cool with down with the kids you're not <laughs> god look at that sun that is insane it hasn't shone the sun for like weeks and now it comes out I don't it's... normally do these interviews during the day because you're in the UK so it's uh, oh yeah yeah well I, nice. I'm in prison so I haven't seen sunshine today <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that I love that so your weapon of choice is a telly and a Les Paul Telly and a Les Paul, which technically my telly is actually an Esquire, um, but it's got a humbucker in it, so it's it's been adapted. But yeah, I do love my tellies. And you can't get a telly to sound like a Les Paul and you can't get a Les Paul to sound like a telly, so you do kind of need both. Yeah, and just the two, how many guitars do you have? I missed you there. I think you froze. Did I? Um, and, and how many do you have? Do you have a big collection or are you, are you I quite... don't have that many I don't have that many guitars, actually. I've probably got about 15, okay. including acoustics. Um, I just don't like them. I don't like them not getting played. I think she could, guitars should be played. Yeah. Um, so if I'm not using one, I tend to gift it to someone. I've gifted quite a few to, you know, friends who've got kids that are interested in learning. And, um, and also, unlike Joe, I don't want my house full of guitars. I kind of like my house to look like a normal house. Not a museum. <laughs> Not a museum with guitars and like walls of amps, and then 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 there's the neon signs, which is a whole new level. <laughs> the neon. I was going to say that... only you can understand the experience of it takes you thirty minutes to go to sleep in his guest room because you've got to go oh. around and turn all the um neon lights off from buzzing. Oh my god, that was yeah, that was because it does because you can't you're like trying to figure out where they all are the lights. It's just yeah. like, okay. no, I've done it. It's like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how he sleeps with all those on. I don't think he does, does he? You think I he think turns him up? I've never asked him. Or maybe he, he doesn't just, um, 
I think he just puts them in the guest room to discourage people from staying, to be honest. I think there's probably not any in his room. <laughs> that's funny yeah he probably doesn't sleep from that or the diet coke um but yeah so i read that you don't like playing strats they're not your you don't I, you find them hard to play which amazed me because i find strats so easy see i love them and i love them for rhythm um i think the issue for me is because my first guitar was a strat and that's when i was learning and i was learning a lot of stevie yeah but every time i play a strat i just sound like a bad you know, 13 year old kid trying to do a Steve Ray Vaughan impersonation. I just like slip back into bad habits. Oh, um, so I think that's the main thing for me. And yeah, I, I can't, I don't know. I fight with them a lot. I just don't get anything back from them. I find it, you know, I can, I don't know. You can't like every guitar. No, that is very true. Um, but it's funny, your theory makes complete sense. But my theory for me, like in the Strat is because I'm used to it because it's the, the guitar that I learned on first. So yeah. I mean, there is a lot of that. That's why I still have Junior, my main Telecaster, because I've just had it. For, I mean, he's a great guitar anyway, but for 22 years, you know, I've been playing him every day. Yeah. So it's very much a comfort thing. Yeah. OK, there we go. Well, listen, Joanne, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, It's a shame you're not doing any London date dates. I would have loved to have seen you play. I know. Well, hopefully next time and we'll get Miss Marriott out as well. Yes, let's do it for sure. We can have a girly oh, one. Brilliant. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much.